Okay, here's Mrs. Casanelli, and today we're going to do something new in Photoshop. So I'm going to start with a brand new document. Here we are. We're going to make an image. 7 by 5 is fine. So here's my 5 by 7 image. You notice I'm starting with a blank canvas. So I'm going to go File, Place. The image that I'm going to use is this sunset picture. When I first place it on the image, you can see it doesn't quite fill up the stage, so I'm going to hold down Shift, and I'm going to resize it to fill the page. You don't want to pick an image that's too small, otherwise when you resize it, it will be pixelated. Come up here, confirm the placement, and there's my image. You can see I have a background with an image sitting on top. Today we're going to learn about the filter gallery. So I'm going to come up here to the menu and go Filter, Filter Gallery. The filter gallery is this fun place where you have all these different artistic things that you can do to your image. And the one that I'm going to play with today is called this patchwork. And over here on the size, you can choose different sizes of squares for your particular image. And I was playing around with this earlier, and I kind of like the way that it's patchwork around the outside but not so much here on the sunset. You also can play around with the settings, so I encourage you to experiment with the different filters in the filter gallery, then press OK. So here is your image. Notice over here in the layers, if you hide the filter, you have the white background underneath. That's the actual image, but if you come right here and hide the filter, you can still see your original fil image in the background. So the filter gallery is a great way to take an image and just kind of apply a cool artistic effect to it without actually changing the look of the image. The second thing that I want to do in this uh, tutorial today is talk about text. So I'm going to come over here to my menu and I see this T which stands for text. So when I just click once, I can type my text. And I have some already in the memory of my computer, but it says, in God, all things are possible. So I'm going to select this text and come up here and maybe choose a different color. Now, I could click around and choose a color from the settings for it. But another thing you can do is use this eyedrop and come over here and pick a color out of your picture. So I kind of like that yellow color and then I need to confirm the placement. And I like the look of this. It's a little bit hard to read the text against this, so I might play around with maybe moving the text over onto a different side of the screen so that I could move it. You might consider using your text tool and selecting a portion of your text and maybe making it a smaller text size. Or if you don't like the font, you could come over here and come up here and choose some kind of other creative font that goes along with your example of your image. And just please know, even when you press check, sometimes you're able with the black arrow tool to resize your, Im your text and make it bigger or smaller. So I kind of like the look of that. But I still kind of feel like the text needs to pop out from the image a little bit more. So when you are on the text layer, come down here to the panels and you'll see this one called FX and that's adding a layer style. So I'm going to go to the blending options and there's lots of great options that you can do with this text layer. One of my favorites is come here and choose a drop shadow. Notice how much more the text pops when you have the drop shadow. It just adds a black kind of uh, drop shadow behind the text. That's a favorite one of mine. You can even play around with the settings, how far away you want the drop shadow, how big you want the drop shadow. So there's lots of customization. Outer glow is another cool one where you can choose a different color to have a glow around the text. That's kind of a cool effect. Same thing. You can decide how opac how light you want it, how far away. Besides outer glow, there's also inner glow. Notice it kind of gives a beveled edge to it, which is kind of cool. I mean, you can do a combination 
of different ones. And every time you click on one of these, it will give you more and more options of things that you can do. Another one I like is Stroke. Stroke puts it starts off with this red on the outside, but you could change the red to maybe a purplish color. That might look kind of cool. Or put the stroke on the inside of the text instead of the outside. That kind of hides away a little bit too much. You can change how thick the stroke is. So you have lots of options here when you're choosing text and using different text effects. Then I press OK. And once again, here's our text layer. And you can hide or add it back depending on the look that you want uh, with the effect that you're going for. And when you're done with this image, you can save it in the PSD file. And you also can save as, as a JPEG. So once again, we applied a filter from the filter gallery to take our text and make it a little bit more interesting with this cool texture. And then we added text with a text effect on it.